Hi everyone, it's the Kenny Crafter and I am here working through my box of unfinished projects so I can use it as a project box once more <laughs> for an actual journal. And this was in it, it says Envelope Junk Journal Master Template, 12 Days of Christmas, I think that says mini journal. Um, this was when I was messing around when I first started with junk journals and I had a load of envelopes. So these are just envelopes, they're sort of tucked into each other. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube, just search um, envelope journal. You'll find how to do it. I'm not going to make another one because I don't really like them. <laughs> but I've gone to the trouble of sticking this together and keeping it in a box. So I thought, let's finish it. Let's just finish it. So it is not going to be a master template anymore because I don't think I'll make another one. And yeah, like I say, I'm not, I'm not fussy. I prefer me bigger junk journals. Um, nor is it going to be a 12 Days of Christmas mini journal because it's not Christmas and I'm not feeling festive. But I do have a big drawer of scraps. <laughs> so I thought, because this is so little, we could probably cover this with scraps and call it a day and make some little journal cards or tags to stick in the envelopes or just stick some like scrapbook paper in to use as photo mounts. That's my thinking. Um, because yeah, this is that capacity. It needs corralling. Is that a good word? Is that a good word? So I'm debating that over using quick stick and PVE. I think it'll depend on the thickness of the paper because if it's thin paper the PVA will wrinkle but my print stick I don't have the greatest trust in so we'll see we'll see how it goes okay so this is going to be the cover what is that going to be the cover no this will be the cover this will be the cover I don't think I'll forget by the time I come to um, add some extra embellishments to it okay I don't think we want this box of little scraps What have we got? Ooh, this is pretty. It's going to be too small, but then I also saw this. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring in a pencil. I actually think I'm going to ink around this first with what colour do I want? I think I'm going to go Ye Old Faithful Vintage Photo. It's a lot darker than I remember it. Maybe that's because I've been using tea dye recently. A tea stain. I'll do the back cover as well. And then it's cohesive. that's upside down but it's very abstract so who knows <laughs> oh no is a letter in my pencil okay I don't have my scissors I've left my scissors elsewhere again okay let's um <laughs> do it this way Dolly, did I just hit you? <laughs> it's because of this. Right, hang on. I'm moving this box of scraps to the other side where there's more space. Right, now we're cooking with gas. Or electric. Depends on what services you have. Okay. And again, I cut on my pink mat to try and save the black mat. I mean, I know it's covered in glue. But at least it's not covered in little scratch marks. Okay, I'm just gonna cut 
pull this bit off here. No, I see it. I see it. And I could have used my paper trimmer, but one, the squealing is still an issue. I do have a new paper trimmer, but I can't seem to line things up on it. I'll do one. Should have brought my scissors in. I mean, I could go and get them, they're literally in the next room, but that would mean pausing the video and moving. Who wants to be doing that? Then I can just struggle trying to line up this. I mean, I could be tearing. I don't want. If I tear that edge, I can always cut it straight if I don't like it. Let's bring in my little pot for corralling my waist because, yeah, we're still striving to be a tidy crafter. small. Ooh, it got wedged. Maybe I just went around two corners. But yeah, I just went around two corners. I feel like I need some lace. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have scissors. That was the issue, wasn't it? <laughs> I do have fabric scissors so we'll go with those right, I'm gonna cut that straight I literally pause to look for my scissors and they weren't they yeah I'm just gonna go with that PVA. It would obviously need something else, but I don't know why yet. I definitely feel like that paper is upside down, but you know, do I want to ink up this edge here? Let's give it a whirl. I feel like we should make a feature of it. did want this to go under it. I have to bring in the three and one. Ooh. I'm overzealous with my glue application then. Because it's going to sit over that lace. Okay, I feel like we should probably do the focal point now.
It has to go in my little bits while it's all put that on that side and you can go back in. But what do we want as a focal point? It needs to go there. Should I bring in the box of focally points bits? The amount of times I've been up, I could have gone and got those scissors. on the floor. Yeah, that's not working for me. Got a teacup. Was left over from the challenge video. No. No. No, no, no. I kind of like that, you know. I'm going to go with that. Stay on top of the dye machine. <laughs> Don't fall off. This is just a fabric cluster made from some scraps, which I have to do again because that scrap box is just, it's full. And I feel like I've been going with these a lot because I've had them for a while. These small talk from ideology, Tim Holtz. Holtz. Never knew how to say it. Always say like I'm saying it wrong. Mm. Be open to whatever comes next. That sounds like a nice sentiment, doesn't it? out there we are we have a cover and it took us oh I think I was gonna say five I think it took us 15 minutes okay now for here I want to leave it as a pocket so I think I'm gonna need like one piece of paper that will fit on me I don't know if I'm having any scraps that size I think this needs inking also. Okay. I like that. If we put that here. I think I'm out. Can you refill these? I don't know. I don't know. Now I need another pencil. That one. We'll go for another mechanical one. Okay, this I remember is something I tried um, cutting with my. Hmm. It has a name, it's coming. Cricket machine. It didn't work. And I don't know why. So that is something I am busy troubleshooting.
there's just so many options for materials and pressures and whatnot so and also mats i've got every mat borrowing the one i think i need so you know i've ordered that but it's taking a while to come Okay, let's just stick this down. I'm just guessing. I should have been. Um... Yeah, it's there, like that. <laughs> right, so we can have something that'll go in there. I feel like we need something else on here. going on this is just some leftover paint splashed on some book page and I made an improvised flower with it Straight though, don't want a straight edge. Okay, it's three in one. This needs a little sticker. Should we go for the black one? Make the day count because it's a little to do one. I'm hoping that PVA will stick over that lace because it's only a little bit. Okay. Something to go in here now. I feel like if we cut this down. And then the corner around it. Oh, we should see if it fits this. Yeah. I wonder if it needs like some sort of tab on it though. I think it needs a little tab. Can we make a little tab out of? So 
I just felt like that was way too long. I don't want the tab. <laughs> Do I want anything on this? Do scissory things. That's too thin for PVE. Do you think that needs a sticker on it as well? Can you tell I'm just determined because I've been hoarding these for years and I mean years and it took us a lot to buy them because they were expensive that's the thing I love to hold stuff but pricey but now I'm just like yeah we've had that for six years let's use it up <laughs> we're trapping the bit Always remember to retract your blade so accidents don't happen. Don't be like me, because yeah. Right, this one again, we can do some patching on. So, number one, and number two. We can make a patchy patch. So, you have that. Quite like that. So, let's cut that down. That is not the pencil. Am I staying clean and tidy? No. That would be why I ended up using a pencil with no lead in it. And my pile of little bits is on two sides now. <laughs> we have that there. And then we want something over here. Probably something with a torn edge. Ooh. No, this one. It's on the back. Yes, that is the pencil. Also trying to use up this blade because there's like two blades left on it. Okay, and let's tear this edge down. And this is also paper I've had for so long. I think my sister bought me this back from one of her holidays. That is how long it's been. Because that's at least, what, three years? <laughs> no, it's definitely more than three years. Ooh. Ow. I just whacked you again and I hurt my thumb. Okay, 
We could also have made that into a pocket now I think about it, but yeah. Always for another day. <laughs> okay, I'm in my box of stuff. There's a whole one here. I feel like that's too long. Completely. Put that there. It needs something behind it. I'm going to do on that one. Right, let's do one more. Again, this needs to be quite like a one piece of paper. I don't know. Be careful with your stuff that hasn't dried yet. Oh, i tell you what we've started watching from the very beginning. Breaking Bad, do you remember that? I forgot how good it was. I mean, we didn't watch it when it first came out. We waited. Um, didn't fancy it at first. But yeah, brilliant, love it. Love it second time round. What a wait. I am the one who knocks. Something like that. We haven't got that far yet. We've only watched a few episodes. Well, we've binge watched it out of you guys. There's, was just, there's nothing on the telly. And I've noticed the same films are premieres. They're like 20 years old. How, how was that a premiere? We're just making a little notchy notch. Gosh, that punch. Do I want to take that down a bit more actually? Oh, you do my notchy notch. on here a bit clustery. Looking at the lace. Get rid of that head a bit. Delving in my box of goodies. 
John. Put stuff on the floor. Is that a good old one? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I want to this. I just observed I never retracted my boy. Naughty, naughty. This is a little bit left over from the start. I feel like we need something out of this box. Oh, that is cute. This is Dyke Foot from Birthday Card. And then I don't think, do I want to wear it on that? I mean, should we keep going? Let's try something white. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I get a copyright strike for that. <laughs> Probably not. It was out of tune. I mean, that's a bit cliched. All you need is love on top of a love heart. But, oh, um, I'm going to think we should just cut some of this down as a journal card because it's playing on the back. Oh, I tell you what, I watched that film, supposedly about the Beatles, with him from EastEnders. Yesterday, that's what it was called. Didn't watch it yesterday, but that's what it was called. Um, wasn't about the beat deals, though, was it? Was it about Ed Sheeran? I don't like that bloke at the best of times. No offence to Ed Sheeran, I just... Not my cup of tea. I'll tell you what I'm right into at the minute. Music from when I was young, I'm at that age, where I'm just like, yeah, I used to listen to that, let's just listen to that now. And a bit of 80s power ballads, Bonnie Tyler, bring it on. <laughs> Remember to play, I feel like that's a nice sentiment to go on there. Let's hope that sticks. Okay. So should we do one more and call it a day and I will do the rest off camera and come back with a flip through. Because it's just it's I you seem it's getting a bit repetitive for you. Oh really really like this. But that would go nice on one of those so we'll leave that for that. You know what I have? These words, not words, these letters, they were from an Easter banner and I bought them for a bunny rabbit for my Benjamin Bunny Journal. But I thought let's keep these and see if we can use them somehow. So this is me using them somehow. Because I went to the bother of untangling half of them to get the bunny off. That's shiny and it has a matte side. 
I think I like the matte side. Okay, I want that on there. See, and there's there's the Easter egg. Yeah, let's just go with this. I'm not going to rip any of them because I'm going to use a thin one that's really shiny. Because, because, because they just fit on there. I did say I could make one of them into a pocket, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe next time. A little peak lace. And something on the end that we got. Oh, but no, not for this. Yep. Let's try the thing here. And then the lid. If it is. Good things are gonna happen. something else there as well. I want it backed onto something is what I'm seeing. I feel like I should have stuck that down with glue as well. Because that end is already peeling. goodness it's every way and I've never retracted me blade shocking and I don't know how much of that I wasn't in here for even more shocking okay so we have our cover with our little fabric cluster love that we have our first little pocket with a journal card in next little collagey bit another pocket with the journal card and another collaged piece. So, I don't think we're halfway through yet. Mm, pages are sticking together. But, but we've made a start. So we'll finish this off camera and then I'll give you another little flip through. And then that's another thing out of the box. We are one step closer to the next journal. Yay! I am back. It is finny. So I've just tied it together with a little pink satiny type ribbon. So that just opens up like so. I even singed the ends so they wouldn't free. So here we have the cover with the little cluster on it. I want to make some more of these 
Uh, I used some hold stickers all the way through. So we did these ones together. So there we go. I added a little tuck spot here and just made a little little stubby tickety type thing out of the scrap apart. Journal card here. There wasn't a room door or anything tucky on there. <laughs> it's a cute little cluster. Another card. This is a circle I cut in half and made into a little tuck spot and I just put two of these little tags in that I decorated up a bit. It's just a die cut negative. This was the front of a birthday card. Oops. Get back in there. Um, this was a cluster I already had made up. It said something like happy birthday or something on it or best wishes. I just cut it down a bit, made it into a tuck spot and added another little journaling card. Again, a die cut. Oh, oh no. Some of these are stuck in while they were still a bit wet. It's fine. Love that. Again, oh no, oh no. It's fine. Again, sticking things in when things are wet. It was really hard to get the glue to stick to this glittery cardstock actually. Um, that was a little die cut from a birthday card. So that's just another little tuck spot. Which I couldn't make it the beginning. This was just some book page with um, some leftover paint splodged on it. And I sort of made them into flowers. Oops, what can you get? And again, another little cluster. And this tag, I actually put a little. Oh my goodness, I have to stop sticking things in when the glue's wet. <laughs> made another little tuck spot with a little die cut tag there. And on the back, I added another cluster. I actually want to make some more of these as well. This is a mixture of card, paper and fabric with book page. And these were just fabric and a bun. So yeah, quick little simple envelope. Little journal. Made. Months ago, but finished today. Woohoo. <laughs> Another thing done out of my box. So what I liked about this was there wasn't too much thought. I just sort of went through and picked papers that fitted. <laughs> um, and I just I pulled out a select few things like I only used I've got I've got a bucket full of lace and ribbon, but all I did was use this one. And I think that helps it like gives it some continuity, it gives it like a little bit of a theme, is that what I'm trying to say? So like even though all of the other papers and stuff were basically very random, I mean there's some that I've used once or twice, but that one piece of lace being the same all the way through, sort of made it cohesive, that's the word, cohesive. It gave it cohesion. Is cohesion a word? That might not be a word. Anyway, it's done, we shall put this away. I don't know if I've got enough vintage photo. It's, it's just needed, I don't know. Look a bit grubby. Rather than aged. <laughs> Dirt rather than patina. I don't know. Maybe that just wasn't the right ink choice. Maybe I should have gone for the tattered rose. Or what was that? Oh, and the antique linen. But what's done is done. Oh, look, it stands up all by itself. Marvellous. <laughs> Oh no, what was that I said about thingy in it so it didn't free? Right, I'll have to go and fix that. I'll not do that on camera because it's with a flame and the possibilities for going wrong are somehow magnified by the fact that the camera was turned on. What is it? Murphy's Law or something like that. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!